Hello. For today's video, I wanted to do something different. So, I've decided to look up some different things that you can do with PHP and different sites that can be valuable in learning PHP and doing various things with PHP. So I found this this article called 40 plus invaluable PHP tutorials and resources. And I found that quite a few of these are interesting. One is object oriented PHP. You have object oriented PHP for beginners from Killer PHP. It's a five page tutorial that talks about how to do object oriented PHP. And it also has videos to go along with it. And there's PHP for Beginners, builds your first simple CMS, and this tells you how to build a very simple content management system using PHP and MySQL, which is very interesting to me. I'm actually working on building my own CMS. Uh, learning OOP and PHP from NetToots. There's also articles and pages on security, how to prevent SQL injection, password hashing, more SQL injection, uh, how to create secure PHP applications, uh, how to do how to block email spam, and how to set up a, a recaptcha. Whether or not a this article here talks about whether or not the short open tags are safe or not. Um, and then more stuff on PHP and MySQL. I. There's common applications to, with PHP, like PHP contact form, so people can send you a message on your site. Um, user membership, so you can register or log in. RSS feeds, um, how to parse them with simple pie, how to dynamically create thumbnails, so you can actually create a thumbnail version of a larger image, and this is how to dynamically create those. Um, PHP Markdown, and this is talking about how to use PHP for your markdown instead of using the HTML. Uh, zebra stripes, how to change your every other line to a different color to make data more readable. And this article here talks about simple XML and PHP. Caching dynamic PHP pages and then we get into frameworks. This one's very interesting. Um, I've heard quite a few things about this first from Code Igniter. I'm actually looking, going to be looking into that myself to find out more about it. And Cake PHP is another one I've heard a lot about, an MVC framework. Um, that's another one I want to look into myself. I've heard some things about Symphony, but I haven't really heard as much as I have about Cake PHP and Code Igniter. And of course there's the Zen framework. I would love to use the Zen framework, but unfortunately that one costs money the last time I looked at it. And Flourish I've never heard of, but it looks like it's still in beta, so that's probably why. And it says that it's not an MVC framework, but is more just an object-oriented PHP framework. This section here will be very helpful to me in the future, I know, because it's screencasts, and I feel I learn more from videos than I do from just text tutorials. This first one's how to build a login system for a simple website. I think a lot of people could use that. And, in fact, this one actually covers how to build a login system that blocks SQL injection as well. Um, how to use WordPress as a CMS. I've heard that 
quite a few people have started using WordPress as a CMS. In fact, Bioc actually uses WordPress for as a CMS. He builds his client websites out of WordPress. Um, this one's another one on Code Igniter, how to create a blog using Code Igniter. Uh, build a login and registration system with XML. I've heard good and bad things about using XML for user data, but never really looked into it much, so I might look into that one as well. Uh, this one will be very helpful to anybody that works with WordPress, uh, Crash Course in WordPress Plugin Development, how to create your own WordPress plugins so if you find that you need a piece of functionality that doesn't already exist, you can build your own. Uh, more WordPress documents here, you have one on using custom fields, uh, create custom write panels in WordPress, useful RSS tricks and hacks for WordPress, so if you use RSS with your WordPress. Um, WordPress 2.7 with your favorite actions, so this is more more WordPress functionality that you can add to your site. Easily display your last tweet. I guess this has to do with allowing Twitter to be shown in your WordPress site. Sounds like it might be interesting for people that are looking to spread their site's information to Twitter and also to allow people to use Twitter with their WordPress site. Mastering WordPress shortcodes. I don't know what shortcodes are because I, I don't know too much about WordPress. But looks like this has something to do with Google AdSense and how to include similar code snippets from other sites in your WordPress. Another one on how to write a WordPress plugin. Uh, we get into books. And these are different books that are about PHP, like PHP 5 for Dummies, uh, PHP Hacks. I've heard about this one, actually, and I've heard that it's a pretty good book. I have not had a chance to look into it, though. Wicked Cool PHP, real-world scripts that solve difficult problems. And that's another one I think sounds interesting. Uh, the PHP Anthology, 101 Essential Tips, Tricks, and Hacks by SitePoint. Site points usually pretty good, so I might want to check that one out too. And then the bonus, there's some useful PHP functions. And these are just different functions that can be used in PHP. There's a lot of sites out here just like this one that will link you out to PHP tools, tutorials, resources, um, there's a lot of places out there that will put out code even for you to look at. You can see the example code and learn how to do different things in PHP. So when you're coding in PHP, if you find that you're, you want to do something that you don't know how to do, look it up. You can find a lot of stuff out there about PHP. And that concludes my video for today.